Okay, this is going to be a brief tutorial about projection mapping and some of the tricks that I found that helped me in doing it. So you can see here, uh, I've got a split screen. You can see the surface that I was projecting onto. And you get to see inside of Premiere Pro. This is what it looks like in Premiere Pro. Um, and this is the semiotics video. I guess it may be helpful to go watch that one first and then return to this. Uh, to get an idea of what I was what I was working with, um, so I've built a structure out of styrofoam, which, in you know thinking later, was a bad environmental decision. I could have made better ones, uh, but I built a structure with styrofoam, and then I mapped the video to it using a projector and an HDMI cable, and it took me a while to figure out how to get the projector to work as a um, preview screen and the trick that I found was under um, edit preferences playback and then you've got your different monitors here and if you just select um, it'll be usually the second monitor will be the um, projector after you hook it up with the HDMI cable so you just turn that on and then it will automatically become your um, preview screen just like this bottom right one here so as I scroll along it you can see it replicates it onto the preview screen um, on the projector um, and so what I did was I used opacity maps so you can see in my effects controls the opacity map I'll just go ahead and I'll go ahead and draw a new one. We'll do a new video onto here to give you an idea of how it works. Um, maybe we'll do this one. And I got all of these um, video clips online. It's a free. Um, they're free. They're produced by I forget the VJ's name. Beeple, I believe. I'll put a link in. Um, and he makes a lot of really high quality animations, and they're all Creative Commons, um, which is amazing. Um, Okay, so you can see I've got this video clip imported and it's taking up the whole screen at the moment. So I can take and turn on my opacity map. And I like to do, you can do the Bezier here. I like to start off with the square. It just gives me points that I can work with. And then I look at my projection map screen as I'm mapping this to it in order to see where the map is going. And so I've got this weird little corner right here so you can click and add extra points. And so I just map it to the screen. And it's a little bit weird looking at having to use the mouse on the computer while looking in another direction to find the where it's supposed to go. Um, but it works pretty well. Let me get this last corner over here and then this one. And one of the cool things about using the um, opacity masks, there are some there are some restrictions with it because this does just block out um, part of the video. So this doesn't ch alter the shape of the video. This just kind of masks part of it. Um, but one of the cool things about it is I can then take this mask that I've created, hit control copy, and let's say I want to do a new clip here. These clips do come with audio attached to them, so I'm just unlinking and, and altering the, and deleting the audio. Um, so if I scroll on down a little bit here, you can see my projection map shape here, and it's showing up on the screen. And this is kind of a rough one. I could have done a better job of it. And then I've got a full screen clip here. So I go to my opacity map. I can paste. And it will paste that projection map, uh, or the it will paste the mask that I created to fit my projection map onto this new clip. 